Hello, I'm Andy King. I'm the technical editor of Good Woodworking magazine and I'm going to show you how to do sharpening saws for getwoodworking.com. Although that is sharp, once you set, you can actually go back and give it a little tweak again. The principle you've got is you've got your setting pliers, which are these. Uh, you've got the what's, what's called the anvil in the middle, the rotating part there. That there is numbers on it which indicate they go from on this one they go from four to twelve, and it's a stepped ring. So the idea being is if it's set on four, that's a four tooth, and it is graduated all the way around. So in this particular instance, it's a six tooth saw. So you set it to six, do a little squeeze to hold it there, tighten it up, and that should then set each tooth for a six tooth saw. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a six, although this is a six tooth saw. You can actually alter that to suit. So if you're cutting in resinous or wet timber for argument's sakes, you might find that will still binding the cut. So you can actually overset it to a five for argument's sakes. So you give it a little bit more set, it oversets the teeth so that they become a little bit further apart. Instead of being up like that, they become further apart. It gives you more clearance on the back of the blade as it tracks through. On drier timber, on hardwoods for argument's sakes, you might find the other way it applies. It's a little bit too sloppy in the cut, so the set's too much. And what it is now when the blade tracks through, the blade will have a little wobble in it because it's too much, it's overset. So you can actually decrease the set at the setting stage if you know it's going to be for hardwood. So you set it for seven teeth for argument's sakes. So if you look at each tooth, you've got the away teeth, it's basically sloping up and away. On this one, it's sloping up and forward again. So everything's facing forward on the points of the teeth and everything's got like a, an angle, an incline going up towards the point. So everything's facing upwards and away. And what that gives you is a V between the teeth. So these, these edges are becoming scoring edges now. So they score the outer fibers of the timber and then the rest of the tooth comes through and takes all the waste out. It leaves a clean cut either side of the work. Now on a big saw, it's very easy to see where you've been. On a smaller saw it isn't, so I'd advise if you're, if you're setting smaller saws is to try and do them all in one go if you can. But it does get, if you do a few of them after a while, it does get a bit on your hand, on bigger saws especially, because if you're pushing a wider plate across. Now I'm back to these teeth haven't been done yet, these are just set, these are just the ones I've just sharpened up now. And you work back from the opposite direction, so you look at your away tooth, and again you push away, you push away, oh, you push away. And you can see it introduces the set you need to get on each one. If you've got a saw that's been um, overly sloppy in the cut, so it is overset, there is a, a method you can use called stoning the sides off. Now, that in itself is something I do. Other people will say you don't do that. It's, it's, not, a, it's not the way to do it. But the principle being is you put the saw onto a flat surface so that the blade is down on flat like that and getting yourself a fine oil stone. You simply put it on the stone, onto the, onto the saw and just run it along the edges there only a couple of times. And what it does then, it stones off some of the set. So it's, if the teeth are overset too far and it's cutting too aggressively, too rough, it will take the set back off a little bit and it will just take these tops off on the away teeth. And what it does also it gives it uniformity right the way through, so every single tooth is now in line. So if you do have some overset teeth, they're all back in line with each other now. So that's another little way of giving it a little bit more sharpness as well, because it'll actually pick up a tooth that's gone off its point slightly. It'll actually introduce that point back up again by just stoning the edge back up on it. So it's something I've done, something I always do. Others do, others don't. But saw sharpening is a funny thing. It's, it's, it's something you can do to the textbook and it works perfectly for you i do anything but the textbook way of sharpening and it, it always works for me so it's it's a it's a learning curve in, in, in every respect 